Okay. Warning, this game contains mild flashing lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I want to turn this up for me. I gotta hear this. Are you sure you want to start a new game in slot three? What? Oh, I must have accidentally clicked that. I want to start it at number two. Bum, bum. Scratch that, turning that down. That was loud. Don't wear that when recording. <laughs> Yeah, I would never wear something this loud while I'm recording. Oh, there's voice acting. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul, one day you will stand before two baboons. What the fuck? I don't think one I saw day this. You will rend the very fabric that binds this land. But until that day... So, oh, that was a treble clef and a... You must toot. <laughs> toot your trombone, brave soul. And you may yet become... A <laughs> trombone <laughs> Little baboons! Child. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Uh, the people I watched, I think they were just talking over that beginning part the entire time, so I never actually paid attention to that. That was kind of creepy. Welcome to Trabone Champ. Choose play to play the main game. What? Afterwards, many secrets await thee. Let's start. <laughs> this is some awesome music in the beginning. Oh, my trombone. Whoa, it's like vibrating violently. <laughs> Quit the desktop, advance info, credits. Wait, it's just some settings, yo. Learn how the game works. In excruciating detail. Mm. Yeah, sure. Wow, this game, uh, it's so beautiful. Holy crap. Advanced info. Hello. This section will teach you how trombone champ works in excruciating detail. Your mouse vibrates? Dude, it looked like the whole screen was shaking. That was nuts. If you're just starting the game, you don't need to play this section. Jump straight into play. This section is intended for competitive players who want to know how the score system works in detail so they can achieve the highest possible scores. Or for players who want to learn baboon facts. Wait, what? Baboon facts? Control, scores, F fuck that. I don't, I don't give a shit. Baboon facts! There are only six species of baboons. Despite appearing in Trombone Champ, mandrills are not technically baboons. Baboons have been around for over two million years. Baboons are omnivorous, which means they can eat anything. They could probably eat hot dogs, although we would not recommend trying to feed a baboon hot dogs. Baboons can live up to 30 years in the wild and up to around 45 in captivity. There's a species of baboon called the kind of baboon, which is funny because it's definitely a baboon. A group of baboons is called a troop. That's kind of cute. Okay. Why, the, why is this game so adamant about baboons? See some names. Explore the forgotten chamber that houses the treble cleft toot vessel. <laughs> what? Toot vessel? Is this a puzzle game? This is a puzzle game? I'm shite at puzzles. <laughs> what the fuck? So, Nemo, are you saying that it's recommended from the fact that Say No More? Or is it the same people who uh, made it? I don't want to do free on. Let's just do play. Is it the same people? Choose your trambooner. Appaloosa or Meldor? Beezerly, Kaisile the second, Trixie Bell, looks like a clown, Jur Majesty, <laughs> Horn Lord, Soda, Horn Lord. I like their hair right here. I want to go with Horn Lord. You kidding me? Jubilant Estodius. What? What does that do? Base trombone? Okay, fuck it. Just 
We'll just do this. <laughs> a world of music awaits you. But first, let's start with the warm-up. Okay. Warm up your drone with a simple warm-up. Perfect for first-timers. Okay. How to play. Move the mouse forward and back. Wait, forward and back? No, this way. To move the slide, line up the dot with the note lines. Press the left mouse button or any letter key to toot. Using the keyboard may be easier on your wrist. Oh yeah, definitely. If you play well, I'm gonna have to move my mug probably. Uh, cause my mug's just gonna get in the way of this. Ugh, okay, it's all the way over there. If you play well, you build combos and increase your champ meter. This is how you get big points. Watch the breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. Oh, that's such a cute face. Most of all, have fun and enjoy the beautiful, succulent music that you'll soon create. Shrug, I just looked at the recommended games on Steam from Say No More. I wanted to find a funny game. I think you just found a new game. <laughs> Come on, Nemo, you gotta join me. Okay. Uh, did it freeze? Oh, it's opposite. Trombone, I'm warming it up. I'm warming up my tumble. Yes, I'm warming my tumble. Um, I'm warming it up. PDF, which I think you played. Ooh, wait, have I played Rotate PDF? I don't think I have. Okay, so it's hard to get used to. So if you want to go up, you actually have to go down. So it's like complete opposite from what you would normally play. So that's really interesting. Um, let's see, track, warm up. Okay, I don't have a high score. Oh, I was so close to S points. I'm normally really good at music games. That's why I really wanted to play this because the people who I watched online, they were not very good. <laughs> um, Toots. What's a toot? Graph. <laughs> Is that how many missed notes I had? Or <laughs> Oops. Tears? Fury, slides, dudes, and spunk. Why does it look like a satanic cross or a star? I guess it's not upside down though. Huh? Okay. Sing along! This has become the theme song of North American Baseball. Although neither of the song's authors had intended a game at this time of the writing. Okay. There are between two and four spiders living inside the average chimp or trombone. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit. Take it away, crowd! It just sounds like farts! Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Do I need to move a... Uh... Do I need to move my webcam? I don't know. <laughs> Ball game. Nemo, you're singing along. Okay. I got 260 toots. I, can I change... Can I change my settings? Hold on, back. Settings. Graphic audio, controls, yeah, edit controls. Mouse default, mouse alternative. Uses mouse movement rather than position to determine the note. Recommend for users who need lower sensitivity. Eh, ah, there it is. Default direction, inverted, not inverted. Test, let's try this. Okay, this might be better. Okay, I think this will work a little bit better. Why would you need to move your webcam? I was wondering since it's some of the notes are like down here if I need to move that. I guess not. We're good. Save and apply. Okay, this might make it a little easier for me because inverted, man, it's throwing me for a loop. Still don't know what jubilant means. Old Grey Mare. Written by the seven-time mayor of Baltimore, Maryland. Some believe this song is about the horse Lady Suffolk. Folk song. The first trombone was invented in 20, 20 million BC. I don't think these, I don't think these are right. <laughs> this is really fast. This is a lot of horses. Nasty. What do you mean nasty? <laughs> Why is it a gravestone? Uh, so you guys can't see, but the loading thing is right behind my webcam and it's a gravestone. Like, don't think I did notice that. Game with sus stuff in it. Ein Klein. Nachtmusik. Trap music? What? This serenade was written for strings, but we've added trombone and trap drums. Most are what have approved. It seems very sus, right? Those horses were fun. I can't focus on, all, like, it's crazy all the stuff going on, and I'm trying so hard to find the note. I love this. Okay. What song is this? If you placed all of the trombones on Earth end to end, they would wrap around the solar system four times. This game is so silly. <laughs> oh shit, it's this song. Thank you. 
I hate that face. That face is really creepy. It's just too big. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, thank you, Nevo. <laughs> Dude, this game is so fun. Every time I mess up, like, one really bad note, it just makes me want to smile. <laughs> <sighs> this traditional Japanese folk song, dating back to the Edo period, celebrates the beautiful cherry blossoms of spring. This is one of the added songs. I saw their update uh, before I bought it. Um, it, they, it just updated, and this is one of the new songs. There are more trombones on Earth than there are... I don't think that's true. <laughs> God, I love this game. I actually have a champ. What? <laughs> that is a traditional song. I like that song. Yay! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I was so close to getting an S! Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Happy birthday! The most recognized song in the English language. We've all sung this one before, but now you can play it on the trombone! <laughs> so many dudes. Okay. I hope someone has a birthday out there. Is this gonna be copyright? The highest note playable on trombones is so high pitched that only certain species of bats can hear it. Hmm. If I just start believing all this. Shit, that's fast. have nightmares about this later tonight. Huh. <laughs> A fucking last note! Anybody got any recommendations for free video editing software? Oh. Um. I don't know about free video editing software, because, uh, well, what do you need, uh, what do you need edited? I mean, if it's something small and short, I can edit it for you. <laughs> This electronic track is an attempt to capture what it feels like to play the trombone. What? 
holy wow. This must be made for the song. Good morning, Hine. Got to wake up in time? Well, that's good. Well, I hope I didn't wake you up. <laughs> there it is, baboons. What? Oh, there's a song, Babu. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're slowly going down the whole list. You did not miss baboons. The world record for most trombones owned is held by Mike Brass of Omaha, Nebraska. He owns two, two trombones. <laughs> Why does this song sound familiar? What is that? Is that a trombone? <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, there's more! <laughs> Fuck! Sorry. <laughs> Asking for a friend. They wanted to get a YouTube channel started, but on a college student budget. Oh, dang it! So close! Uh... I keep seeing people using, like... Filmora or something like that. I think that might be free. I don't know. It might just be a joke. I'm not sure. I see it on uh, meme videos. <laughs> on to Sugar Plum Fairy. This piece from a second act of the Nutcracker Ballet is instantly recognizable and has earned enormous popularity. Let's play this shit. It takes over 3,000 tons of brass to produce this. Ah, that's not right. <laughs> You'll check it out? Okay. I use a Premiere Pro. That's Adobe. You have to pay for that, unfortunately. I found just using the mouse is actually easier for me. Fuck. I'm trying to get a monster. Fuck. Yeah! 
S S S S S S S S M M M M M. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Premiere is definitely one of the better ones, but it does you do have to pay for it. Damn. Wait, here comes your big score. Has that always been there? I don't know why I don't remember that. Whew. I'm getting all sweaty playing this. I love it. I could play this for hours. Holy shit. Until my wrist falls off. The celebrated chop waltz. This widely known waltz is often played by new students of the piano. And now you can finally play it on a disgusting virtual trombone. <laughs> okay. Rhythm games will do that to you? Dude, I love rhythm games. They're my shit. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. That, that one's actually true. That one's true. There are not over nine songs. Oh, I know the song. <laughs> that one was pretty tough. <laughs> what am I doing with toots? Can I buy stuff like for my characters? Baboon! Oh my god. Baboon, 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 baboons. Baboon step. It looks like a dick. Tears. Holy shit, that's a lot of tears. Is it gonna be that hard? Okay, this one's for you, Hine. Baboons. It takes 1,000 workers a full year to produce a single trombone. I mean baboons. Sounds like farts. I can kind of see the photos. Pug? <laughs> that was a picture of a pug in a blanket. Oh, ass! I got an ass! I got an ass! Uh, there was one was a picture of a pug in a blanket. I didn't even notice. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. The bar goes, like, past S. You can go past S? You'd have to be, like, absolutely perfect. At that last part, my mouse literally got high off my mat. And I was like, I need to bring my mouse back. And that's why I fucked up that note. This is why I was... E excited? <laughs> yeah. 
white. I got a star on it now. Huh. That must mean because I asked it. Sweet. Also sprach Zarathustra? The first part of this piece, titled Sunrise, became famous after being used in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Okay. The trombone is related to the trumpet. They are cousins. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Is it going to be the high one? So much anticipation. The fuck? That was the easiest song. <laughs> I broke the wall. You can't go past that. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Do I get anything for going that high and far off the board? Makes me want to go play some Beat Saber. Dude, I play Beat Saber for exercise. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. I haven't seen anyone do that. What just happened to my stream? There we go. <laughs> okay. Wait, what if breaking the wall is called T tier? T tier? Is that a pun? Hine, is that a pun? I might be too dumb for that pun. Pun. <laughs> oh, difficulty zero. Of course it is. Because T is after S. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Electronic! An original electronic piece written by the legendary maximalist Max Tundra. Long tail limbo. In England, trombone is spelled trombone. Is this gonna be fast? Why does this song sound familiar? Is that the artist? <laughs> if you like rhythm games, by the way, I highly recommend Muse Dash, one of the most streamable rhythm games and has some of the best music and art. Hold on, I gotta write that down. I love streaming music games, even though sometimes I suck at them. <laughs> Muse Dash. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ugh. At one point, I hit the second monitor with my mouse. I was like, fuck! <laughs> 
Entertainer, I know this one. I can play this one on the piano. This piece performs solo or sol or sold as roles? For automated player pianos, sounds much better with an addition of a trombone. Shit, that's a high difficulty. Okay, let's do this. Some claim that Mozart's last words before dying were, At least I got to use a trombone. Wait, I have to read this after this. Fuck. That one was really hard. <laughs> hey, the first thing I see when I look at Muse Dash is I don't play it in public because of <laughs> sexual co What? Muse Dash has sexual content? Generally doable until master difficulty. Then you need like fingers of a drugged out drummer. <laughs> Holy shit. It does have etchy art. It's safe to stream though. <laughs> okay, maybe I will. If it's safe to stream, maybe I will. Ooh, skip to my loo. Possibly derived from a Creole folk song. This dance was popular during Abraham Lincoln's youth and in Southern Indiana. A student's trombone generally costs between $100 and $300, but a professional trombone can cost over $2 billion. That was clean? All of these. Oh shit, this one's not gonna be clean. What the fuck? Oh, that's a girl. I hit my monitor. I need more space and this monitor is in the way. Okay. And move that monitor back a little bit. <laughs> Every time I hit it, I mean, you see my... <laughs> You can hear it hitting the mouse. <laughs> okay. How many songs are on here? Oh, I'm going backwards. Shit, there's a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm back at the beginning. Okay. So next is Star Spangled. Later given new lyrics and adopted as the national anthem of the United States, this song was originally written in 1780 for the London's An Anacreontic Society. Okay, funny noise, uh, funny noise, funny information. I'm related to Francis Scott Key on my great grandmother's side. Whew. I, I was very proud of that when I was a child, and then I actually looked at the whole poem that he wrote, and I'm like, ooh. Great, 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 great grandpappy. You shouldn't have said that stuff. <laughs> we get a celeb here? Nah. <laughs> My great, 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 great grandpappy would be very unhappy that I'm his grandchild. <laughs> 
To this day, scientists don't really know how a trombone makes sound. Magic. Oop, hit my mic. Sorry, Mike. That must have been really weird for anyone who was wearing headphones. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the peppermass fire. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly strewn. <laughs> the fuck is with the burger? <laughs> the fucking burger caught me off guard. You know, with this game, people will finally know the lyrics to our fucking national anthem. Yes, was waiting for this one too. <laughs> you, he may. You know all of these songs already, don't you? Martian Killbots. Rock. Martians attack in the remaster of a track from an old Holy Wow album titled Choose Your Own Adventure. Ooh. Okay. A professional trombone player is known as a tromboner. That one might be true. I'm not sure. There's a British national anthem too. <laughs> what? I saw the Canada one. Whoa. Sounds familiar. Why do they keep doing that with the fucking last note? <laughs> yes! I was so close to bringing it into T or T tier. Oh, I almost fucked that up. What's with the toots? What do I do with the toots? Gladiators. Named because of Fukix? Fukix? Personal interest in the Roman Empire. This has become one of the most widely known pieces of circus music. Oh, circus music? Is it the. This is gonna be tough. 34 countries have outlawed the use of the trombone, and six countries playing trombone is punishable by death. I'm not in one of those countries. Mm -hmm. 
papa. Holy shit. Did I do that one good? <laughs> that was pretty tough. That was pretty tough. Have a nigala. Nigilla? Nagilla? Folk. One of the first modern folk songs in the Hebrew language. This has become a staple at Jewish weddings and bar mitzvahs. Celebration. Bar and bat mitzvahs. Oh, there's two different types? Bro, I don't know much about the Hebrew... The, I don't know much about that. Oh wait, I think I know this song! <laughs> Trombones contain spit valves that allow you to blow gobs of your nasty spit all over the floor. That's true. You shouldn't do it on the floor, but it does has, uh, have a spit valve. This is really fast. That was really hard. That was really tough. I think it would have been better if I actually knew the song very well. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Originally the overture for an opera, this piece was widely used and widely par parodied over time. William Tell Overture. Shit. Tears! Oh my god! This one's gonna be so tough! Hold on. Doing it with one arm, one hand. Which one is this? Without trombones, there would never have been ska music. Draw your own conclusions from this factoid. Oh shit! It's the horse song! Horsies! Ha <laughs> ha 
It's so dizzying. There's so many horses. It does kind of sound like a fart. Crazy, the visuals were so nuts. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> that one note though that made me just oh. Okay, blue Danube. Dan Danube. Originally considered only a mild success, this Austrian waltz has become one of the most popular pieces of music in the classical repertoire. When you look at the notes instead of the horses, it wasn't so bad. It's just more like you have stuff going this way, and then you have stuff going this way, and I'm like... <laughs> the average baboon can live to be over 300 years old. Hey, wait, now we're getting baboon facts. They've gone through all the trombone facts, now we're getting baboons. Wait, that's not right. That's not three. What? Oh, this song. I thought it was over. Those random ass notes at the very bottom of the song. How long it took you to realize that baboons don't live through it? I think that was a good almost a minute. Achievement unlocked, the music enjoyer. Aw. Must be because I played like a shit ton of songs already. <laughs> it's already been an hour. It feels like it's only been like 20 minutes for me. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Doomcore. Holy shit. An extremely dark, edgy, and cool electronic track. Are you ready to take on these clutch beats? Yeah, yeah. So I guess the track speed, there are more baboons on Earth than humans. Yeah, now it's just giving me baboon stuff. Um, it's nice that if it's too fast for you, you can slow it down. I think that's what that is. The fuck? What the fuck is this? What?
What the fuck? Did it just get faster? This is a very meme game. What the fuck was that that I just heard? That wasn't even a song. That was like a butt ton of random notes, and yes, the beat was whack as fuck. <laughs> what was that? Doomcore? Dude. I just looked at my room, and you know, do you remember when you were a kid playing like Rock Band, and like you turn away from the game, and the whole room is like moving? It's doing that. <laughs> The beat is nice, and the trombone accompaniment is what? <laughs> I have no idea! I guess the trombone wasn't supposed to be in Doomcore, dude. <laughs> Stars and Stripes. After a 1987 act of the US Congress, this became the official national march of the United States of America. The trombone is not related to the French horn. They're just friends. Good friends. <laughs> Oh, we're back to trombone facts. Oh, this song. <laughs> Fireworks. That was getting really good with the marching band and the fireworks. I was getting into it, but yeah, those notes were whack. 
<laughs> Scabbard. Ooh, it's Ska. Oh, it's my holy wow. That's the same person who did the Are You Ready? A Ska song. Because everyone online seems to want one. Are you happy now? Please leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this one of the other new songs? Prehistoric trombones were 40 feet long and could weigh over 600 pounds. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone needs to draw that. That's so ska. Uh, Ska is dope as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it definitely made more sense than Doomcore. <laughs> Wait, Silent, you have all the dancing units and you have one holding a, like, face palming in the middle? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that one on the left? Oh, it seems good. Okay. There was a there's a guy from Funhouse that I watch all the time until he left Funhouse who was like absolutely adored Ska. I thought that was him for a minute in the emote. We need some light sticks? Yeah. I'm so glad you're happy for the weekend, Silent. One of the most famous classical pieces of all time. Beethoven really killed it with this one. Okay. Okay. Trombones do not float in water, so do not accidentally drop your trombone into the river last week. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck. I already messed up. Thank you. 
What the fuck is this? All you hear is click, click, click. <laughs> you mean for my mouse? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Should I turn up the music for the game more? <laughs> Would that be better? <laughs> like all you hear is. <laughs> I figured clicking would be um, a little quieter than me doing this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo. God save the king. It was hard, funny. <laughs> the royal anthem in most commonwealth realms and their territories. This is also known as our country tis of thee in the United States of America. God save the queen. Cows love the sound of a trombone because they're smart. God save the gracious king. Long live our noble king. God save the king. This was the original song? Land of the pilgrims pride. Oh my god, it is the same song. America, us thieving song thieves. I love it. This is really easy compared to what else I played. Ah, Big Ben, I've seen you. I fucking hate English breakfast. I fucking hate English breakfast. <laughs> Give me them tea and fish and chips. <laughs> like, I just came back from uh, England and Scotland and whatnot. And like, every time I had an English breakfast, like we went to a place to have breakfast. Every picture of me is just like super upset because I forget their bacon is more like ham. Their English breakfast has like tomatoes and beans. I'm not a- I like fried food, just not a lot of it, you know? Like, tone it down! <laughs> I'm just not a- I'm just not a big fan of beans, either. Ugh. This polka, originally written by a Czech musician, swept the world in popularity throughout World War II. Rosa Mund. <laughs> True, everything is fried there. Oh, God. They do have some great food. The pot pies? Amazing. Or- I guess just pies to them. We call it pot pies. <laughs> Playing trombone in your apartment is a great way to make friends with your neighbors. Thank God I don't live in an apartment anymore. <laughs> if someone got that and actually did that, I'd be pissed. Thank you. 
Too much on screen, too much on screen. I'm getting overloaded. Oh. <laughs> I love the polite clapping for like when you get to D. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh god, I just want to go to like Oktoberfest in Germany now. <laughs> ode to Joy! Loosely based on an ode by Friedrich Schiller, this heavenly piece was adopted as the anthem of Europe in 1972. Despite its name, the trombone does not have any bones. Surprised? <laughs> Dude, I'm like speed running in this game. Oh my god, the cherubs! Was really pretty. <laughs> Come on, S. Oh. Uh, I won't lie. We're getting close to the end of all the songs. That makes me really sad. Yeah, these are the last four songs. What the fuck? There's not a lot of songs. Oh, Canada. Originally commissioned for the St. Jean Baptiste Day banquet in 1880. This didn't become the de facto anthem until 1936. Nine. Wow. Oops. Read that one wrong. There are between two and four spiders. Oh, wait. Did did we just get through all the... We, that's, a, that's our first devil. Canada, our home and native land. love in all of us command with glowing heart we see thee rise the true Lord strong and free from far and wide oh Canada we stand on guard for thee Canada, go! This game is very patriotic. I won't lie, I only know Canada so well. And how do you know all these national songs? Okay, okay. So obviously the the one from England is because America took it over. So I kind of know the song. But this one, Canada, is because remember, I came from Washington. Uh, we were really close to the Canadian border. So when we had like sports going on, um, the Canadians, it's super easy to cross the border to Canada. They just come down and, like, 
so we play both the national anthems for all of the sports games because we have the Canadians there, you know? They're here chilling, so why not? <laughs> so I grew up knowing the Canadian national anthem because of that. Oh shit! Trombone Fuerte. A by Holy Wow. What's a morong? Maru? Morong? Our sad attempt at composing a morongu song. Meringue? A fast-paced Latin American dance originating in the Dominican Republic. Oh, shit. Okay. Ugh, let's do this. The first time, yeah, yep, it's reset. It restarted. All our facts are gonna be doubles now. This one's really hard. That was fun. Bongas though, right? <laughs> hey folks. Oh Hine! Oh my gosh! Have fun going Christmas shopping! I wish you all of the deals and discounts. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Hine. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's pronounced merengue? Is how it's pronounced. The American way at least. Oh <laughs> merengue. I have never heard of that type of music before. Huh. Oddling sign. Classic folk song commonly sung on New Year's with lyrics from a Scottish poem and music based on a traditional Scots folk melody. Yeah, we know that already. Uh, duh. There's a lot of trombones. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgot and days have odd lang sign for odd lang sign? I don't remember the lyrics. Yeah, that was my solo.
Map. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Still don't know what these toots are for. This is the very last song I haven't played yet. Oh, it's Spanish. Commonly performed by mariachi bands, this is the national dance of Mexico. The dance represents a courtship ritual and absolutely slaps. Okay. The Mexican hat dance. Oh. Okay. I know what song this is. Prepare for a lot of clicking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god! This is not good! That was the worst I have ever done. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sort. Is there more songs to unlock? Or I guess I could figure out what Estudius is. What's all the toots that I'm getting though? There has to be like a store. Is it collect? I didn't go and collect yet. Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots. There we go. And then spend them on tromboner cards. Can you collect all 50? Might still get a B. <laughs> no. Your card collection. Give me a sack. 4.99 toots. You can afford 24 sacks. Fucking, why would I not do 24? Oh, wait. Oh, I can only do 10 at a time? Okay. Achievement unlocked. Yo, I got a sack. Click the sack. Four fresh unique tromboner cards do not eat. Bow, 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 bow. Brass. The most powerful element. Brass is used to create trombones and nothing else. To this day, scientists have no idea where brass comes from. Whoa. Red eyes, black baboon. <laughs> What's with this element up here? Can I actually use these to play? Uh, one of the most powerful tromboner cards. The red eyes, black ba- Oh my god, the red eyes, black dragon. The red eyes, black baboon. Is a representation of the base clef as it relates to Babi. The Egyptian def def deification of the sacred old world Hamadreus baboon. Holy shit, those words. A, re a representation of the base clef. Hmm. Bill Watrous, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the U.S. Navy and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sound. Oh, he died like really? Wow, that was actually pretty close to now. That guy's not so close to now. John Philip Sousa, the American March King. Sousa was arguably the greatest of the March composers and had a massive influence on the world of brass instruments. He only ate hot dogs in private. <laughs> what? <laughs> Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. It's like hot dogs for you. What is with the hot dogs? It sounds really good, except for when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy and then listen to it a lot. 
This Missouri, oh, I'm sorry, Melba Liston. This Missouri-born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s, and later worked on arrangements for Motown Records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. Okay, I think hot dogs is a running joke. Sack butt. Did you know the early trombones from the Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sack butts? Yep, it's true. Look it up. Now you know. Huh. I would not have guessed it would have been called a sack butt. Trumpet. The coward's trombone. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Jack Teagarden. This self-taught jazz trombonist, look at you guys are just learning shit today, uh, was a prominent performer in the pre-bebop era and performed along Louis Armstrong, specializing in New Orleans-style jazz. He could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Blue Eyes White Baboon! I got the two! One of the most powerful tromboner cards, the Blue Eyes White Baboon is a representation of the treble clef as it relates to Babi, the Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Hamadreus Baboon. C.W. Gluck. Gluck was one of the first to introduce trombone into ballet and opera, beginning with Don Juan. This may have later influenced Mozart to use the trombone in his compositions. He could eat 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Tommy Dorsey. This American jazz trombonist, conductor, composer, and band leader's smooth trombone playing earned him the nickname the Sentimental Gentleman of Swing. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. Tromboner card. Oh my god. It's just going forever. Tromboner cards. Oh, except for this is a diamond, but these ones are all American symbols. They got that wrong. Um, collectible cards featuring famous tromboners, legendary composers, and all sorts of incredible things. Everybody loves these cards. Collect them all or suffer the tragic consequences. Baboon! These vi viral... viral? Old World Monkeys, often called the trombones of the animal kingdom, are the descendants of Babi, the bull of the baboons, who is a relative of the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toot vessels. There is lore in this game, I swear to god. There's Babi, this ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamadreus baboon, whose name translates to bull of the baboons, or chief of the baboons, was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. What sim- Okay. Design your own! This trombone card is intentional left blank so you can design your own. Oh, that's cute. This leading- uh, Rachmanov. This leading Russian-born composer, pianist, and conductor was one of the most popular of the late Romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he'd request them as long as my name please, and everyone would laugh. I already got you. Already got you. Gustav Holst, this English composer best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets, also played the trombone professionally, which means he is worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. Hmm? Uh, Richard Strauss, did I already read him? This leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems was arguably best known for the piece, Also Sprach Zarathustra. Whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. Trombone! Without the trombone, none of us would be here. It is the glue that binds us together, and the force that keeps us moving forwards. Often called the baboon of instruments. It is the alpha and the omega. The fuck? Got that already. Bella, Bella Bartok considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century. And among Hungary's greatest composers, he also helped create ethomusicology through his study of folk music. He studied but never ate hot dogs. Trumpet. Sergei Prokofiev. This Russian Soviet pianist and composer composed masterpieces across multiple musical genres. He infamously consumed hot dogs backwards. Top to bottom rather than side to side? Like a hamburger? Music. And slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. Note goes up, note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. You just have a trumpet. Ugh, disgusting. More things should have sliders on them. I love slide whistles. 
J.J. Johnson. Indianapolis-born J.J. Johnson was one of the most influential jazz trombonists of all time. Credited with demonstrating that the trombone can be played in a fast bebop style. He could eat 10 hot dogs in one sitting. Babi, Sackbutt, Gustav. Okay, we're starting to get doubles now. I got a red eyes again. J.J. Johnson, tromboner cards, Bella Bartok. Okay. Treble clef. Favored clef of the primordial baboon Tootseeker Tom. This... <laughs> Tootseeker Tom. This clef represents light, but there can be no light without dark. Baboon. Arthur Pryor. This prodigy... Pro prodigy... Pro this Missouri-bound <laughs> tromponist, who wrote some of the most well-known trombone pieces, played with Sousa's band and was a prolific composer of band music. He could eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Now I want hot dogs. What the fuck? Oh, I got another design your own. I wonder if he'll actually let me. This music's poppin', bruh. Your card collection. Where's the design your own? You own two copies. Can I actually draw on it? Build card? I don't have turds. Turd cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it really does turn into poop. What the fuck? I got three of this one. Poop. How many turds do I got? I got enough. I got enough. Are you sure you want to spend to build this card? Wait, is it just gonna give me another copy of this card? Wait. <gasps> oh! Okay, so that's how you get cards that... Oh. Uh, I... I guess you don't actually get to design your own card, huh? Fuck it, I'll keep that one. Double, just in case. Let's turn this one. Uh, Charlie and Charlie loves good. Ale and Charlie loves a pretty girl. Ooh. Bobby. Wait. I kind of want to just click on all the cards now because you can do that. I feel like there's a secret in here. The fact that it has to deal with actual poop is kind of hilarious. Dude, I got a lot of doubles. Holy shit. <laughs> when did this become a card collecting game? <laughs> the red eyes, black baboon. That is so cool. Oh, Gustav. Did I click on the baboons? I don't know if I did. Okay. They don't matter. Um, yeah. Build card. Oh my god. Polidoro da Caravaggio. 16th century Italian painter who painted the, what may have been the first artistic depiction of a woman playing a trombone in the panel Apollo with the Muses from 1520, excerpted above. Okay. Build card. That is very uncomfortable for my headphones. Glenn Miller, this trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the early 1940s, died while flying to France to entertain U.S. troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. That's really sad. Welcome to Card Simulator! Minus all the fighting. Claude Debussy! Wait. 
This French composer, sometimes considered the first impressionist composer, rebelled against classical forms of compositions and strove to create new models, modes, sometimes based on his own poetry. Hot, hot dogs. Uh, hot dogs. Are you fucking me? Fucking hot dogs? Claude Debussy has hot dogs? I was like, there's something secret in here, and it's just fucking wrote hot dogs. Great, cool. Thanks. This game is such a meme. Al Gray, this American jazz trombonist who played with Count Basie, was known for his plunger mute technique and literally wrote a book on plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs. <laughs> Nemo. I do not think, there's no way, where is he, where is he? There is no way Claude Debussy is a real dude. Like, hold on. Claude Debussy. Like, do people actually have Debussy as a... Okay, no, he's a real French composer. Okay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just the internet and the word bussy. It just doesn't seem real, okay? <laughs> so sorry, Claude. Oops. Oh no, I don't have enough turds. Okay, give me a sec. 10 sacks. Luck be a lady tonight. JJ Johnson, design your own. Oh, bass clef. Favorite clef of the primordial baboon bass master Ben. This trouble represents dark, but there can be no dark without light. And brass. Shivosky. Among the most popular composers of the Romantic period, this Russian composer is well known for The Nutcracker Suite, Romeo and Juliet, and countless more. He could eat hate, eight, hate, eight hot dogs in one sitting. Babby. I got that one. And music. Okay. We're getting some new cards. Baboon. Rimsky Korsakov. This Russian composer who infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, although the exact number is unknown. Max Tundra. Maximalist electronic composer and producer of bespoke soups. In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. This is the person who's writing that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His picture showed up in one of the songs. Isn't that a newer slang though? I didn't even know what it means. Oh, are you talking about bussy? <laughs> it's another way for people to say, you know, like cats. <laughs> That's how I took the meme, that is. Okay. Babby Gustav Muller. This Austrian born composer was one of the leading conductors of his time. Due to his Jewish ancestry, his compositions were banned throughout much of Europe during the Nazi era, but they later achieved wide popularity. Mussorgsky. This Russian composer, well known for A Night on Bald Mountain and Pictures at an Exhibition, strove to create uniquely Russian music and therefore refused to eat hot dogs. Chavsky, hot dog! Yum, are these beefy? Treats? Sandwiches? Or something else entirely? No one knows for sure, but one thing is certain, they're every composer's favorite treat. Even if not eaten, simply holding these imbues one with power. Uh, I think I read that one. Don Drummond, legendary Jamaican ska trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder. What? Ultimately ending with his death at Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. Kingston, Washington? Yeah, because that's Bellevue. Holy shit, this is Washington. He murdered someone? Wait, what? Don Drum. Drummond was a Jamaican Scotch trombonist and composer convicted of murdering his 23 year old lover. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Kingston, Jamaica. Okay. Sorry. In Washington, we have a place called Bellevue and Kingston, so I got a little confused. But holy crap. Music. Wimsky. Arthur Pryor. 
I read that one already. Ooh, glissando. A glissando is a slide from one note or one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. Mouthpiece. This is where it all begins. The part of the trombone where your mouth goes. Don't put your mouth on the other parts. Without this, you've got nothing. If you ever see a mouthpiece in real life, try blowing air into it. Beethoven. This influential composer and pianist, best known for his Symphony No. 5, lost his hearing late in life, possibly as a side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. I read that one before. I read that one before. Did I read that one? Franz Schubert. This Austrian composer with an immense body of work is considered one of the best of the 19th century. Although he wasn't widely appreciated until after his death, his one-up, one-down collar style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. Sack butt. Hot dog. Glenn Miller. Bill Watrous. I think I read that one already. Yeah. Gustav Mahler. Trazom? Oh, it's Mozart backwards. Mozart. Trazom. Immortal guardian spirit tasked with preserving the order of the bass and treble clefs. As a guardian spirit, unable to eat hot dogs, but imbued with the power of at least ten. Okay. That's interesting. Gustav Holst. And I already read that one. Baboon. Right. John Philip Sousa, trombone. Ooh, we're so close to finishing off our thing. Okay, turned one of these. Turned one of these. Turned one of these. Heard one of the uh, all duplicates. Thank you. Turd, all duplicates. We almost had the full collection. Holy shit. All duplicates. I did get a lot of toots playing this game. All duplicates. Yes. I thought I had more than one duplicate of that. Bubby! All duplicates. This is the part that's gonna take a little while. So sorry. <laughs> to get the whole collection. I refuse to not get the whole collection. I'm just that kind of person, okay? I should probably drink some water. I'm thirsty. <laughs> wanted a hot dog. We have so many turds. Oh my god. It's so delicious. <laughs> okay. Oh, baboons. Huh? Build card. We should have enough to build the rest of the deck, I think. Dick Slide Hide. American session tromboner who recorded for a number of legendary musicians, won Best Trombone Player Award in 1974. The most prestigious award ever given to a human in history. I mean, what else would you do for the rest of the stream? Well, try to get S ranks, I guess? <laughs> this game is pretty hard when it comes to the uh, actual playing. But I'd still try. Also, the, the puzzles in this game, too. I still gotta do all the puzzles. I don't know what those are. Mozart Music Storm. 
This Austrian mage holds the key to the ear wing of Tempo Keep. He will light you up with the sound of his sweet keys. Wham! Roswell Rude, legendary tromboner and composer who worked in free and avant-garde jazz, taught ethnomusicology, performed with Malayan and Mongolian musicians, and could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. Okay. <laughs> J.S. Buck. Johann Sebastian Buck is widely considered one of the most influential composers of all time, partially due to his Baroque compositions, but mostly because he invented the hot dog. Igor Stravinsky. Revolutionary Russian composer, best known for his thunderous ballet, The Rite of Spring. He could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. Mozart, prodigious, pro prodig prodig Austrian composer of more than 600 pieces, one of the most well-known classical composers of all time. He could eat up to 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Last card. Achievement Unlock Card Collector. J. Strauss II. This Austrian-born composer wrote over 500 pieces and is credited with popularizing the waltz in 19th century Vienna. Sadly, his baboon-like facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. Look at it. This is my collection. This is what I'm known for. The fuck? This one's jiggling. This is what I'm talking about, Nemo. This is what I'm talking about. This game is nuts. Excuse me? Oh shit, that guy's scary. I don't like his face. Like, how do I get into this? I need to find two keys. Which, I have these. No? Huh? Why is it red now? Oh, because it's the dark side. No. Why not? Why not? So that's how you enter the dark side. Because... Wait... Where, where is it? Where's the... How did I get to it before? Baboon. Oh, that's right. So this is the light side. S's. Is it because I only got three S ranks? I have to actually S rank another thing? Remember the trombone baboon door? Maybe related? That was the... That was the baboon door, right? I think, yeah. So, this takes me to the dark version of that. Hold on. It sounds different when you click the ones that actually... I gotta go through all of them now? We're on a hunt, we're on a hunt. Shit, which one did we just do? Why not the sack butt? Oh, 
That one's so funny to me. Oh wait, I already did these two. Well, just to check. I'll check with the treble again. No, nothing. So I'm guessing each side, the light... I didn't mean to do that. The light and the dark uh, will have a key in each individual baboon box. Um, so that's what I'm guessing. Did it just jump too? That one wiggled. Is it the only one that wiggles? It's the only one that wiggles. Okay. Um. Oh no, the base cleft does wiggle. I just saw it wiggle. I don't want to wait and watch them wiggle. I just want to fucking click on all of them, I guess. I'm surprised the hot dog one doesn't have something because you have that one card up there that has the red words that mention hot dogs. The bussy. Okay, let's just stare. Yeah, I think it's just the base cleft and reverse Mozart. Was that always there? <laughs> Was this always here? Are I gonna hold it? Greetings, noble Trump owner. Thank you for summoning me. My name is... Well, maybe some things are best keep secret for now. I'll assume you summoned me on purpose and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle. Well, what say you, noble Trump owner? Greetings! Only inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champ? Fuck yes! Buddy, do you even really know what the trombone champ is? Nope. Well, you will in time. Yes, the baboons will show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so. And my magic requires sacrificing tromboner cards. Why does my magic require you to sacrifice tromboner cards, you ask? It's best not to ask questions like this. Just go with the flow. So, will you agree to help me? Sure. Excellent. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I currently require one babi, one... I have all of them. Yes, you shall not regret this. I'll have to rebuy them, though. I knew this game had something satanic about it. <laughs> what the fuck? Congrats! You played the video game a lot and unlocked the thing. Silver trombone. Achievement unlocked. As 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 what? Okay, I gotta re-get these cards. So I unlocked a silver trombone. Is that how you unlock all the aesthetics? By giving the demon stuff? I totally forgot about the unlockables for the characters, honestly. <laughs> I also need to get an S rank on one other song. We'll probably pick something I already got an A in. Okay, what do you want now? Hello again, there's still more I can do for you. I currently require one Rudy, one Glink, and one Barty. Yeah, sure. Yep, yep. You should not regret this. Look at that! Your concentration phase. <laughs> if you've played Mario Party, you know. I have to do it again. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> red trombone! I used to play a red clarinet in high school. <laughs> yeah. How many trombones can I unlock? Uh, I'll do the red. They make you work for it? Yeah, dude. They really make me work for it. Let's try to get an S rank. Oh, Canada was pretty close, I think. Wait, I remember getting really close to one of the songs in the beginning. Yeah, Sakura, I think I can probably do this. All those clicks. Yeah, my mouse is gonna be destroyed. Okay, I got a red trombone now. Also, I'm playing on the other thing, whatever it was called. for sure. Is it because I got two miss? I think it's because I got two miss. Okay, let's try a different one then. <laughs> I thought that one was super easy. Mm. Maybe sugar plum? Okay. I am very aesthetic now. I got that red trombone. My Sakura trombone. I guess technically not. It's red, not pink. Kind of looks pink though. This one might be tough actually. Look at the spit valve. Okay, please. Please, 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 please. Yeah. No! 
This is really hard. It was the faster notes. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. This is pretty tough. I'm going to try Sakura one more time. Because... Doom core? Try the Doom core one? I'll try it after this one. I'll try, I'll try it after this one. Doom core, I remember being hard just solely because it was weird. Okay, I was literally perfect almost the entire time. Please, please. Yes! <laughs> I got another S. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> okay, let's go to the light side. Okay. What's that do? The fuck? <gasps> oh, shit of a bitch! <sighs> Hark! <sighs> God. Art thou the one who hath been a knocking on my little hatch? That scared the shit out of me. Yes, it was me. Ah, thou art truthful. That is good it. Is a knocking not what hath the hatches are for, after all? I seek it the trombone champ. Is it thine wish to become the champ? Aho, that is good news. Allow with me to introduce meself if. I am the primordial baboon, toot seeker Tom. Allow me to show you something. Feast thine eyes upon the tooth's vessel. What is this? What is it for? How does this affect my life personally? These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. My bad. But this I do recalleth. The toot vessel requires toots. Feed it toots, and the cleft shall awaken. That's why it's called the toot vessel, you see. It is literally a vessel for toots. Anyways. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble cleft may awaken. I have a lot of toots. Do I have enough? I do! The toot vessel awakens. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch! This game is crazy! <laughs> Congrats! Whoa! You played the video game and unlocked the thing. Character Polygon. Ah, so a chest of treasure poppeth out. Fascinating! However, I feel there is more hidden within that vessel. Yes, I am certain that the tooth vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble cleft may awaken. Oh, I have to do it three times. Son of a bitch! Okay, let's see the dark side now. I hope to god it doesn't make me want to do four more S ranks. 
That would be terrible for me. I guess I'm getting better, though. I won't lie. I'm getting pretty good. Oh, it's already unlocked! Yeah, you didn't scare me this time, bitch. The Bass Master. Hi, hello there. You have done well to discover me, lad. My name is Bass Master Ben. If you wish it, I will now share the full truth of the trombone champ. I wish it! Ah, answer worthy of the trombone champ. Well, let's get started. In the ancient days, the First Lords created music. At that time, things were in harmony. But a natural discordance began to arise within the music. There were those who sought to destroy the harmony. For each positive note, there was a negative. Bass beget treble, Mozart began trezom. Does the story bore you? Would you like me to stop? No! Good, because there's a lot more of this. This is where, or this is gonna go on for a while. Anyways, the forces of order split music into two, the treble and the bass. And thus have things stood for ages, but it's not the true way. Bobby, the first true lord, created artifacts which would allow one to control the nature of music. With these artifacts, and using the proper technique, one could change the very nature of music itself. But of course, there were those who would abuse this power, and so it had to be kept secret. And of course, the seal of order is held fast by that miserable doppelganger, Trezom. Shall I not stop you? Or shall I not stop? Would you not like me to stop continuing or to not stop? Wait, would you like me to stop continuing or not stop? No, don't stop? Wait, I'm confused. Do you want me to start from the beginning or not? Not yes. Great! Anyways, to seal away this power, Bobby created two vessels. The Toot Vessel and the Turd Vessel. <laughs> Each vessel was guarded by one of Bobby's children. Most likely, you've already met one. Tootmaster Tom guards the Toot Vessel, which symbolizes trouble and the power it contains. And I, Bassmaster Ben, guard the Turd Vessel, which symbolizes base and the power it contains. Only a true champion who fully awakens both vessels may restore music to what it once was, a free power, without order. This champion is known as the Trombone Champ, and their weapon shall be the Trombone, Bobby's favorite instrument. I'll repeat that for dramatic effect. The Trombone Champ. And so, this Trombone Champ would need to defeat the forces of order, which require what the vessels grant. Additionally, this champ would need to fully ally themselves with Babby and increase their power. The forces of order have a power level of 10. We can assume that the Trombone Champ would require the same, if not more. There are rumors of a source of power which runs through this land. Many have harnessed this power. Do you not want me to not repeat this full tale again, or shall I not simply continue? What? Oh, really, in that case? I trust this story made perfect sense to you. I gave you the abridged version, after all. Alas, I have taught you everything you need to know, and now continue your quest to become the trombone champ. Fill the vessel with turds, so that the base cleft may awaken. <laughs> joke makes me laugh <laughs> okay so I need to play the game more to get more toots and turds does this guy want more of my stuff he does hello again when we first met I see nitro murder cards there's magic in these cards but I cannot access the cards without you he locked me in the chaos candle you see so I could not assist the baboons I spent so long locked within the candle that I've forgotten his name or maybe he tampered with my memories. I do remember the knowledge that a legendary tromboner would one day find me. Could that be you? Whatever, let's continue. Yes, take them all. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So this is how I unlock trombones. God, they really make you work for that. Blue trombone! 
I'm gonna unlock every fucking thing. You guys have no idea. I'm nuts about this game. <laughs> Free improvisation. Let's see what that is. So I have... Oops. I have four more to unlock. I have one more character to unlock. I still don't know what Estudious and Jubilant means. And then I also got different types of trombones to unlock, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do polygon and let's do blue. I wanna try and get S on the warm up. Now that I'm really good at it, you know? And then I'll play Doom Core for you, Nemo. <laughs> it actually just sounds like someone who actually can play trombone. S-S-S! Oh! Achievement unlocked! S-Associate! There we go! I'm getting way better at this game now! Holy crap! Practice really does make perfect! Whew! Oh shit, I was gonna play Doom Core, I'm so sorry. After this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not that good yet. Fuck, I lost the thing at the main. I missed it. You're invisible now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I unlocked a new character called Polygon. Um, and this character is basically invisible. I can change it back if you want me to. But it definitely does help seeing the notes. <laughs> okay. I got some more toots. I also got some more S's. Yeah, see? Polygon! Lol, I don't care. <laughs> no worries. Okay, I got some more toots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, it's so many toots! I have to play this game so much! Holy crap! Should I continue this, like, later? <laughs> Here, let's at least do the card thing, because I think the demon, he still owes me, like, a few more trombones. It's good to see you again. Continue our work. Go ahead. Take it. Yep, go ahead. Amazing. 
I want to see what the final trombone looks like. So much work just to get different colors. <laughs> hey, kitties. Do you feel the same? Something hiding within this deck? Anyways. Yes. Yep, go ahead. Fingers are starting to cramp. Oh, okay. Pink trombone. There's the pink one. Oh. I think you need two more? Two more. Some more I can do for you. Yep, take him. Go ahead. I'm not going to need the cards anymore after this dude, I think. I want my last trombone to be like black with like satanic symbols on it and stuff. Oh, my hand is starting to cramp. No. Huh. Hi, as a trombone player myself, this game just makes me, um, don't know. <laughs> Lord of Gotha, you are probably a way better trombonist than I will ever be. You are the trombone champ. Trombone? Oh no, trombone. <laughs> This is why I can't play instruments. Oh yeah, I got the polygon one. I think there's one more left. I will say though, this game has so many secrets, it's pretty fun. I have one final request, but you're not going to like it. I need one of every single card, all 50. One all 50? I can't do that, because then I'll take away the cards I need. <laughs> Unless I do doubles. Well, either way, I gotta play the game. It's a lot of stuff. I might have to grind off screen and then just record what I get, you know? I got the polygon! I haven't done this. Is this a touch screen interface? No, it's... You're using your mouse, basically. Uh, normally the game has it inverted, but I made it so when I push forward, it goes up, go back, it goes down. But when it was inverted, it was screwing me up. And then you hold it to make your note. And the wiggly lines all the way over here are basically how much breath you have. So you can just... Like that. Or you go... <laughs> basically, it's as simple as that. Uh, I've been using just my mouse this entire time for the gameplay. Oops. <laughs> I'll play one song so you can see what it looks like. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I'll do Doomcore, I guess. It's not a... I don't like Doomcore at all. <laughs> what was the name of the Doomcore? Oh, no. House... No Doomcore. I guess touchscreen would make it easy. Yeah, it would make it a little easy. No Doomcore? You don't want Doomcore anymore? Okay, okay. I was really close to getting S rank with Canada. Maybe I'll do O Canada. I was pretty close. Yeah, you already know this, right? Lord of Gotha? Trombones related to the trumpet? <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. Dude, with my character all see-through, you can actually see the background now. Oops. Trombone means large trombone. Oh, I did not know that. That's impressive range. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, I was so close to blowing it off the side of the screen. Oh. I do love this game so much. It doesn't lock in place, by the way, so it's really easy to slip off the note. It's hilarious. Do I have enough toots to at least unlock the next thing? Please. Why do you go that way? Okay. Nope, I do not have enough toots. Fuck! So many toots! Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to grind off screen for this. <laughs> okay, so let's go to... <coughs> collect. Oh my god, it's so smoky. My house is not on fire, I promise. Uh, No, no, not collect. I need to go to Baboom. So this is what we're trying to do. Fill the vessel with toots so that the trouble clef may awaken. Okay, so this is the next unlock. The toot vessel awakens. Oh shit, that's right. I gotta do this. You played the video game and unlocked <coughs> sound set muted. <laughs> Achievement unlocked getting too dear. Sound set? What? Ah yes, well done, tromboner. A second chest, much like the first one, but I feel that there is yet more to be done. I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. Okay. Look at how many toots I have. That's how much I've been playing. I'm such a loser. <laughs> The Toot Vessel Awakens! My whole thing playing this is I want to know every inch of this game to the point where I don't have to question why I did this. <sighs> okay. Seems like I'm dropping frames occasionally. Ooh, sound set 8-bit. Now that would be great. I just want to make sure it's only 25% frames last two minutes. So hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. Oh, all the rings are lit. The toot vessel is fully charged. Just one final awakening awaits thee. Yes, I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. Okay. Suck all my toots. Suck it. Mm. The Toot Vessel Awakens! This is how much I've played this game. <laughs> I was bored while sick, okay? I have nothing else to do. I was like, I can't voice act, I can't draw. Well, I did draw some. I might as well trombone! Yay! Mysterious Blue Key. That's the one I need! Okay. Incredible. Hark, the toot vessel toots no longer. Thou hast performed thy job admirably. My memories are shrouded in mist. Was there a second one? No, surely not. <laughs> no, that was fast. No longer has performed thy job. And yet it feels like more weight safe. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So now, I have to go to collect. So... Oh, let's see. I think I need turds. Yeah, I need turds to... So I'm gonna need a lot of turds. Oh, I can only buy 10 at a time? Oh. So I'm gonna have to buy a shit ton of these and get a shit ton of turds. Continue. It's 
okay. Let's just keep going. This, 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 this. Cool. So this is the part where it's like, I could have done this off camera, but I didn't. <laughs> so this might get a little annoying for y'all. I'm so sorry. After we get done unlocking everything though, I am going to head over to Genshin Impact. Cause I, since I was sick and I could play, I finished the, <laughs> this is absurdly loud. <laughs> I don't know how loud it is for you guys. Um, but I finished the arc where you first go to, oh, crap, I don't remember the name of the town. You know, the second town where you have to fight the giant uh, leviathan thing. Like, I just got done fighting the leviathan and it was pretty dope. Of course, I already knew that that one dude was Rex Lapis or whatever his name is, the dragon dude. Like, come on, his clothes look like the dragon guy. <laughs> but uh, I happened to hit level 32. So now I can do the card game. Um, I'm trying my hardest to do all the quests just to do this one special event that only has like 10 days left. I have earned 20 prisma, not prisma gems, 20 of those uh, wish orbs. So I'll be able to do 20 pulls tonight, which I'm so stoked for. And I really hope I get Wanderer. Like, come on. I've been seeing everyone else pulling him and I'm so upset. <laughs> It's gonna take a bit. I almost have a full uh, set to give this dude. Cause the little devil dude wants uh, one of all of them. <coughs> yep. <coughs> when you're sick and there's smoke in the house, it just irritates the fuck out of your face. <laughs> but yeah, other than being sick and playing this game and some Genshin, um, I've been pretty much just sleeping. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep y'all waiting. I thought last week, uh, I thought I got better midway. I thought like, oh my god, I'm finally getting not sick. And I started populating the stream with stuff on the schedule. No, I got worse. Like, I did a table read, and in the script, I only need one. Uh, oh, I don't. Shit. Um, let me go ahead and turn some cards. Turn cards. All duplicates. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Poop. I need to build this one. There we go. Okay. Um, so I need one of this and one of this to do what I need to do. And it looks like I have enough. So let's go ahead and give this guy one of everything. Hello again, friend. I feel like our time together is reaching an end. I have one final request, but you're not going to like it. I need one of every single card. All 50. Will you do this for me? Yeah, sure. Are you sure? I will take one of every single card if you agree. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Then let us begin our final dance. <coughs> oh, God. Okay. One of all of them. Go for it, little demon baby. Oh, shit. That's right. He makes me do the thing. This game is so silly, I love it. Whew. Hey, the champ trombone. It's like crystal. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Apex Aesthet Aesthet Aesthetic? Aesth I don't know what the fuck that word was. <laughs> Y'all couldn't help me either, because like you can't literally. <laughs> I don't need these cards anymore. <laughs> is the candle gone? Wait. Hmm, is that it? Yes, that is all the magic I can perform. Were you hoping for more? Sorry, that's all for me. 
Soon you shall be ready to become the trombone champ and learn my name. Now, where was I? Maybe I can give you a hint. Power up with glizzies. What? Do I need to learn this dude's name too? I power up with glizzies. What the fuck does that mean? Turn them all. So now, oops, now I just got to turd all my cards, get enough turds to unlock all the turdings. The the thingy, the the base cleft key. You don't get a lot of turds in this game, so I really hope it's not 2,500 like the toots were. Because that would not be fair. <laughs> turds are so hard to get. Dude, I have six of this guy. <clears throat> Those funny glasses. Something about this card reminds me of a um, Scanlan from Vox Machina. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You can tell I'm, my voice is getting congested already. <laughs> I'm still sick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still debating if I should actually go into work or not. I don't know if I'm still contagious. How long does it take for someone to not be contagious anymore? You know? Also, I find it hilarious that if anyone like popped into the stream right now and they didn't know me, they don't know what I'm doing. They're just like, oh, silly trombone game. I'll watch this. And they actually watch and it's just me making fart noises over cards. <laughs> like it's not good gameplay right now. <laughs> it's not. But for anyone who is popping into the stream to watch me play this, um, I'm trying to unlock everything in the game. And to do that, it requires a lot of these points. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm slowly getting enough turds <laughs> to unlock more stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing the base cleft. I guess I have one double. Yeah, I have one double, so I can do that. I can't believe how many toots I had. Like, I, I knew I had a lot, but I didn't know I had like 25,000. <laughs> I was really bored, I think. I just came into the stream. <laughs> Sorry, Como. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just turning a bunch of cards. Gonna unlock some stuff. Um, I don't know how many of these turds I need to unlock the key, so I'm just gonna get as many as I can. How are you doing, Como? <laughs> I'll do plants. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not dropping frames anymore. I look down and my frame rate's good, everything's stable. Earlier it was going like this, so I'm just like, oh, I should restart the stream a little. <laughs> so I did. I'm getting a lot of turds actually. I thought I wasn't get gonna get nearly enough, but I think this might be enough to, um, Unlock everything. <clears throat> Ugh. Trying to buy a Christmas present, but Amazon is acting up. Oh, f yeah. I mean, I feel bad for the people who work at Amazon. Christmas is like the worst time for them. I never like if I'm if someone wants something from Amazon on Christmas, they better send me their Christmas list like 
three weeks in advance because the closer it gets to Christmas, the less I'm going to do Amazon. Oops. I will go outside and buy an actual gift. I don't know what you're trying to buy, though. Like, it could be something crazy that you can't find in normal, everyday places. Almost done! Twelve thousand tarts. We're doing good, we're doing good. <laughs> Originally I wanted to buy on the Xmas market in town. Ooh, but I couldn't find what I was looking for. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. Um, that's cool that you have a, uh, a Christmas market in town, though. That's pretty cool. I mean... I'm trying to imagine what that's like. Is it like a place that sells Christmas related stuff or a place that sells things that you could buy as gifts for Christmas? Or is it like Christmas decorations? <laughs> Christmas is so open-ended. <laughs> it's everything. Everything's Christmas. I went to Home Depot yesterday. Christmas is already gone. <laughs> I live in Germany. Every town has a Christmas market. Oh, that's right, Como. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> that's why it's so not <laughs> that's why it's so surprising to me we don't have that here <laughs> I think occasionally um, there might be like a craft markets that'll pop up but they pop up like anytime during the year not just for Christmas so oh my gosh I want to go to Germany so bad oh I'll be on the plan, maybe. Maybe in the next few years. I have a, a friend who uh, told me to go. Okay, let's go unlock everything. My water's over here. <laughs> Under the mic. Feel the vessel with toads so that the base clef may awaken. Okay. Yay! So it's only 750? Ugh, we have a lot of turds. We definitely got more than we needed. The turd vessel awakens! <coughs> Still sick. I'm slowing down! My hand's gonna cramp by the end of this. Sound set in the club. Hmm. Huh. Well done, lad, but the turd vessel cries out for even more turds. That's right, you're going to be doing this for a while. Fill the vessel with turds so that the base cleft may awaken. I hope no one's uh, watching my stream on speakers with their family around. <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> the turd vessel awakens. <laughs> Gassy. Oh no. <laughs> that one's going to be a good one. <laughs> We're gonna have to test all of these. Achievement unlocked, get t a got tootiest. Oh, I must have unlocked all the sounds. Well done, lad. The end rapidly draws near, presuming you've met the other two servants of Babby. Yes, soon you will take this fight directly to that miserable doppelganger and take your place as the champ. But not quite yet. This vessel still has some magic left within it. Fill the vessel with turrets so that the base cleft may awaken. <laughs> this one's a, like squeakers. It's a lot of squeaky farts. <laughs> the turd vessel awakens. So wait, now what am I gonna unlock? Whew. Oh. 
You played the character Servant of Babby. I unlocked a baboon? Don't. <laughs> well done, lad. The end approaches, but this vessel still cries out for turds. Fill the vessel with turds so the base cleft may awaken. Okay. Yeah, I definitely had way too many turds. <laughs> So many turds. The turd vessel awakens. Give me my key. Okay. Whew. Mysterious red key. Okay, I got the keys to both the things now. I can finally unlock that. Huh. Amazing! All is silent. Now go forth, fulfill thy destiny, and leave me alone to rest. You are ready to take your place as the trombone champ. But you must wield the trombone of legend. I have the trombone of legend. It's the crystal one, yeah? Okay, should I unlock it now or test out what some of these things are? No, I'll just unlock it now. <laughs> Why even ask? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> 20 minutes into the stream, and I'm already beating this game. One base cleft. One travel cleft. Open that shit up. You dare challenge me? Prepare thyself, Chomboner. Oh shit! Oh my god, look at all the sounds. Okay, I'll just do normal trombone. Oh man, I should have probably uh, practiced a little bit before I did this. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? What the fuck? Chazam was dealt a fearsome blow, but was not destroyed. Son of a... Thou must embody and fully ally themselves with Babi. Thou must have a power level of at least ten. There exists an ancient source of power used by tromboners of yore. Seek it out. What? So am I like, that was really hard. That was incredibly hard. Hold on, let's practice a little bit. Also, a way of 10? What's that mean? Okay, whatever. Well, what's the muted one sound like? Let's do something I haven't aced yet. Longtail Limbo. Yeah, sure. I need to practice anyways. That was, that was scary tough. That was really fast. Uh, 
Oh, so it's like when you have the mute thingy inside the horn. That's the sound. I'm so happy they made those short notes forgiving. Oops. So it's just a baboon mask? Huh. It's kind of cute. <laughs> womp womp. Did I get an S finally? Yeah! Look at the difference. Now that they made the short, the small notes, like, more forgiving, look at the difference in my skill. Like, I was here, like, before. <laughs> look at the difference, the previous. It was, like, almost double. So, if I get an S in all of them, will that help me fight that guy? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so now we know what muted sounds like. Let's go to 8-bit. <clears throat> what would sound funny in 8-bit? Hebrew song? <laughs> no, that's really hard. Are you ready? This one was really hard. Mm. Ah, let's do this one. It's super hard. It would sound funny in 8-bit. Right? <laughs> oh, I should have done it in the farts. This song is so hard. I have to use the space bar for this one. It is that's really hard uh the if it doesn't sound bad what it would probably sound good with is where's entertainer I... am i blind i think i might be blind ah uh, there you are because this one always reminds me of mario so, 8-bit Mario, you know how it goes. Thank you. 
Let's look at the S. <laughs> okay, let's look at the fart one. <laughs> oh no, we have the in the club first. Okay, what's gonna sound good in the club? Skip to my loo? <laughs> Skip to my loo. Skip to my loo. I can barely hear myself. It's so synthy. It sounds like a mosquito. It sounded like a mosquito at the end. <laughs> ah, so close. Okay, let's sound the fart one. <laughs> I'm just dying to hear the gassy. Okay, what would be a good gassy one? Will William tell the overture? No, no, that's something else. I was thinking of the the horse one. <laughs> I'm American. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> oh, America. To wiggle the butt to get that noise. <laughs> that one sounded wet. Fireworks to this? <laughs> a little disappointing they don't have you play the actual trombone part at the end wait what <laughs> oh is oh for like the real song the actual real song oh yeah 
I guess that is kind of sad, but... <laughs> For a minute I thought you were talking about the fact that I was <laughs> playing the, the fart version. <laughs> the gassy version is hilarious. What other weird songs would that be good to? <laughs> I just, the fact that it's like an all-American, like, song and it's all farts just makes me giggle. Oh my gosh, the songs that I haven't est. There's not a lot of them, actually. I think I've done pretty good. This song, though, pisses me off. Okay. Okay, so I unlocked all of these. Unlocked all of these. Unlocked Servant of Babby. So, what am I missing to fight this dude? Like, this... This is one of the hardest songs in this game. Oh, thank god I don't have to unlock it again. Like, get the actual keys again. Okay. I'll try my hardest. I'm... I'm gonna scroll my sleeves up. <laughs> what am I doing, Gassy? <laughs> I kind of want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. I'm... Oh, that scared me. I'm getting a slight bruise on my wrist from where I hit it on the desk. Fuck, I don't think I get it. Damn it! <sighs> That's so hard! That must embody and fully ally themselves with Bobby. That must have a power level of at least 10. I think that means I need to have at least a, a continuous combo of 10. I have... What is hurting my wrist on this on this desk, I am playing so hard that I have like a small mark on my wrist <laughs> from my desk. Okay, let's see if the little demon thing will help me. This piece doesn't have a trombone part. I searched if there's an arrangement. Most results are videos from this game. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they made a lot of trombone versions for this game. Ow, my wrist hurts. Let me think of a hint. Two baboons. Two baboons. Set the baboons. Two baboons, set the baboons. Greetings, our time together. Let me think of a hint. Power up with glizzies. Were you using a keyboard? I thought it was a mouse game. You can use both. You can use your space bar or your clicky button to, um... Oh shit, I turned it up really high in my ears. Um, you can use either to do the breathing part of the game and then use your mouse to go up and down. Um, so technically you don't have to use keyboard, but for those faster notes, I thought maybe it'd be easier. So. <laughs> Power up with glizzies. Two baboons. No, wait, oops. Okay. 
Let's get two baboons then? Ah, so you can give yourself carpal tunnel in two different ways. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it hurts. Okay, so I thought a hot dog is also called a glizzy? Right? <clears throat> I know in other countries, I think, they're called glizzies. Okay, so I have a hot dog. I got two baboons and a hot dog. Or glizzy, sorry. Set the baboons. Set? What's that mean? Set the baboons. Two baboons. Power with glizzies. Never heard that before? I'm quite- I'm quite positive glizzy is another word for hot dog. Glizzy. Meaning. Hot dog. Hot dog! <laughs> glizzy. Plural. Glizzies. Slang. Glock. Handgun. Excuse me, I don't want my hot dog to be called a Glock or a handgun. Is glizzy a rude word? Glizzy just means hot dog. Okay. Power up with glizzies. Uh, <laughs> should I get multiple? So wait, maybe the more I have of the hot dogs, the slower the song goes? Let's try three of them, and if it slows the song down, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay. I have glizzies. I also have two baboons. I don't know what set the baboons mean. Let's see if this works. I'm trying everything I can to beat this turd. This song is hard. Okay, let's just do normal trombone. <clears throat> Servant of Bebby. I got my champ trombone. Okay. We got this. <clears throat> I don't think it changed anything. Okay, I'll try just the mouse. Now I'm focusing really hard on clicking and I'm getting all the notes wrong. Fuck this guy. No! Sorry, sorry, that's loud. <laughs> this is so hard! Thou must embody and fully ally themselves with Babi. There exists an ancient source of power. What is this ancient source of power? Okay, well, align yourself with Babi. First off, here's a Babi card. Who knows? <laughs> I have enough turds, why not? Okay, so we got Babby. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> when it says a set of baboons, a set. Red eyes, black baboon, and the blue eyes, white baboon. That's a set. So we have two baboons, a set of baboons, we have Babby, we have hot dogs. 
<laughs> like, come on. Okay, okay. Let's just double check. Check with this guy, just to make sure. Maybe he might have a hint, who knows. Okay, never mind. He doesn't have a hint. <laughs> okay, let's see if the devil thingy has anything to say. Now that I have all three? Two baboons. Okay. This is all I can do. I just have to hope and pray that this will help me. I think I have to use the space bar for this one. It's too hard. This fucking sucks! <laughs> okay, okay, I got this. I got all the baboons. Please, do something. Fuck. Okay, there has to be a secret. Thou must embody and fully ally themselves with Babby. How the fuck? Ancient source of power. I'm, I'm sorry. Ancient source of power. Trombone champ. Secret ending. I, like, I don't want to know the secret ending. I just want a little help with the final battle, okay? We'll show you all the steps you'll need to reach the final battle. Whatever. Earn S rank on four songs. Done. Earn the blue key. Earn the red key. Collect all cards. Face the final boss. Got it. <clears throat> earn the red key. Already done. Collect all cards. When offering a card, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 okay. One thing you'll need to keep in mind is that you'll need 10 duplicates of the hot dog card. 10 glizzies. 10 glizzies. Okay. For the final battle. You also need a copy of Trezome to enter it itself. Okay. So this is what I was missing. 10 of these. Got it. When he says power up with glizzies, like... How the fuck was I supposed to know? <laughs> I, was, I need 10 hot dogs. How many do I have? Six. I wonder if something's gonna happen when I have 10. I gotta go now. Thanks for the silly trombone fun. Okay, Lords of Gotha. I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, I'm still gonna try to beat this boss, dude. <laughs> but I'm happy you enjoyed it. <laughs> Eight. Two more. Thank you! Have a good night! <laughs> One more! Okay, I thought maybe something would happen. But nothing did. Does maybe... It's 30 hot dogs. Who has 10 hot dogs? 
Whatever. Okay. It said all I needed was 10 hot dogs, so... <gasps> That's right! He said you need the power of 10. 10 hot dogs. So that's where the 10 comes in. <laughs> I'm a silly little hot dog. <laughs> okay, we can do this. My wrist really needs us to stop. Ow, I think I got a splinter. <laughs> I'm shaving the dust down with my own skin. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's still fast. Someone out there in this world can actually do this perfectly, and that makes me sad. Because it's not me. I had a combo of 11. <laughs> what the fuck? What? It didn't tell me the power thing. After giving the demon all 50 cards, you'll earn the final trombone color needed. That's the one I'm using. After you've traded all 50 cards, head to the settings from the main menu and navigate. What? Settings. When was this here? Allegiance? Normal, most, Inferno? Change your baboon quantity to inferno and baboon preference to hamadras. What the fuck? Inferno. Hamadras. Huh. How was I supposed to know that? I guess fully immerse yourself with Bobby, I guess. Wait, so like... In the advanced info, baboon facts. Do they talk about a hamadrun or whatever? No, they don't. Okay. This game is hiding everything. <clears throat> I had a little bit of help. That's okay. A little bit of help's fine. What does the baboon thing do anyways? Is that the thing that gives me baboon facts? <laughs> okay. Now, to defeat this turd. I got this. I got this. Bum, dum, bum, bum, dum, bum. Oh god, I thought the game crashed from and I was like, no, don't do this to me. I feel like I'm getting better.
I just realized his ghost face is in the background. <laughs> his ghost face distracted me for a minute because it was all like, wow, wow. <laughs> Shit! Achievement unlocked trombone champ! You did it! You played the game a whole lot and became the trombone champ tram tram trombone champ of legend. And so the trombone champ forged an alliance with the Babylons. With ceaseless toots, aided by turds and <laughs> king of hot dogs, the very fabric of music was shattered. Trazom was overcome by the chaos, and the two clefts merged into something new, something never before seen. Hmm? Now kiss! Purple. The ancient rules Aww. of music. Forged over many thousands of years have been upended, and a new era begins. An uncertain era. The era of the trombone champ. That's a me. Oh. Little tiny slivers of pathetic. Oh. Thank you for playing trombone champ. Ah. <laughs> this song's going way too hard. Specialist ish thanks to baboons. Last, the, the songs always have that last like Mop. note. It's so funny. Oh shit! You played the game a lot and became the trombone champ. Trombone, yeah. Nice. Do I get anything new? No, I just unlocked everything. That's all. Okay. Well, I beat the game! <laughs>